Our Chelsea fans, welcome along to the Chelsea News in five minutes with me, Chelsea Staffed, here on the channel. It's Christmas Eve, there's a lot to feature. Rudiger, Alonso, Hudson Adoy, the Arsenal. There won't be a video tomorrow. I'm hopefully going to do my live commentary boxing day. But for now, let's get cracking. So first up is the story that's appeared in the Daily Express. Chelsea Chiefs make Callum hudson Doy exit decision due to Frank Lampard frustration. Now what is the frustration of Frank, you're asking? Well, according to the Daily Express, it's the size of his squad. I think, looking at that headline, my initial reaction is that's a lot of old cods wallop. That's rubbish. But Ian McGarry, who's a respected journalist, is stating that Chelsea are willing to sell hudson Doy next month. And I think that's hard to believe. Yes, he's only started one game in the Premier League. Yes, he's been in and out of the squad and the team, but he's had an injury. He signed a new contract last season. We've only got three wingers or three players that can play wide at the moment anyway. Why would you sell Callum Hudson-Odoi and restrict yourself to leaving just two? It doesn't make any sense. So I think this particular story in relation to Callum Hudson-Odoi is complete rubbish. What do you guys think? I think the article is right. Talking about Frank Lampard's frustration with the squad he's been left with. Because let's face it, he's only got one defensive midfielder. As I say, he also needs another wide player. But he's got three left-backs and five centre-backs. So something needs to be done next month. So to this centre-back who's likely to leave the club to make it just four at the club. And that's going to be Tony Rudiger. And it looks as though PSG are now eyeing up a move for Rudiger. In addition to the likes of Barcelona and some Italian clubs in January. It's yet to see if that's going to be a loan deal or if it's be a permanent deal. But PSG are in for Rudiger. Is Tony Rudiger in with a shout to face Arsenal on Boxing Day? Don't think so. And I think his time in the first team is going to continue to be limited the way that Thiago Silva and Kurt Zuma have built a relationship at the back. Rudiger will probably leave in January. As I say, it's not clear if it's going to be a loan or a transfer. So to one of the left-backs that's going to go because we've got three and the fact that Emerson is now ahead of him. Marcus Alonso finds himself stranded in limbo with nowhere to go, you think. But then today there's been an update stating that Atletico Madrid are willing to take him on loan for the remainder of the season and he could join them next month. Which, let's face it, is going to be a good move for Alonso to go back to the capital city in Spain. For Atletico Madrid, it's going to be a good move because we've just seen that Kieran Trippier has been banned for is it 10 or 12 games for his betting offences. So it works all round. Alonso to Atletico Madrid on loan, expect that deal to be done next month. What do you think about that? Do you think of Alonso's better option than Emerson? Or are they pretty much the same? So if one goes, it doesn't really matter. Let me know in the comments section below. So, news of a potential sign-in next month, and it's Ecuadorian wonder kid Moises Casido, the 19-year-old midfielder who's worth £4.5 He's already played four times for his country and has impressed plenty of clubs. Chelsea are rumoured to be one of them, along with Man United, Newcastle and Brighton. But Chelsea and Frank Lampard are hoping to steal a march on everybody else and get a deal done. So, to the Arsenal, and we know that Hakim Ziyech is out injured. We're waiting on news of Reese James and Ben Chilwell. Have to wait and see what's going to happen. Obviously, the kickoff's half past five, Boxing Day. I'll be doing the live commentary on the channel as I normally have done in recent weeks, so make sure you check that out on the channel if you've missed it already. Also, look out for an article that'll be published over the course of the next two days in regards to William and his time at Arsenal since he left us to go there. And obviously the game on Boxing Day. So stay tuned for that. Make sure you follow me on social media. As I say, at Chelsea Daft, Facebook and Twitter. Check out the website, ChelseaDaft.org. And let me know what you think of the video in the comments section below. Also, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done it already. But make sure you hit the bell for notifications. You don't miss when my videos come out. This has been the Chelsea News in 5 minutes. Thanks for watching. Have a cracking Christmas day. Enjoy yourselves. And I'll see you all on Boxing Day. Five minutes on Timo Werner. My take on Timo, all the talk about him at the moment, and just with a sense of realism, encouraging you, the viewer, you, the Chelsea fan, or the football fan for that matter, to take a step back. This video is going to go through details and just point out simple facts that people need to remember, point out the qualities the guy's got, 
and to appeal to everyone, have a bit of patience, give the guy some time. Diego Costa, would you take him back at Chelsea? But Diego Costa is not going to sign a new contract with Atletico Madrid and he's going to be free to talk to clubs about a move at the end of the season. It's yet to, to be seen if Atletico Madrid are going to try and flog him in January for some money before they have to allow him to go on a free. And with this possibility that Olivier Giroud could be leaving Chelsea at some point, whether that's going to be January or at the end of the season, would you take Diego Costa back at Chelsea if he's willing to come?